interesting suppressor if you go all the way down there. On this side, not inside. I don't know, maybe it's inside. I'm not sure because I hardly ever go and get it. Because I don't really need it. I think there's three or four guards in this area. It's one, two. I know there's a third right by the door. these guys down to get some items. It would serve me right to get caught doing this. I'll have to get the corot. I just thought about it too. Dang it. I have to get the Kuroto when I go back. Let's get it. Get this one now. Oh yeah, it's actually easier to get it when I do come out. Because it'll seriously be right there. Like when I go out through uh, that little hole in the wall, I'll seriously be staring right at it. No joke. I remember that one. This is one of the few Karotans, if not the only one I get every single time I play through the game. Just goes right there. Pick up some weapons that I'm probably not going to use. Aw, oh, I wanted to pause the aim and change mid-roll. Scientist uniform. Alright. Oh, no. First floor. Be careful not to bump into any Whoa. Yeah, like I was about to do right there. is quick. You cannot equip weapons while you have the scientist uniform, by the way. That's why I'm having to do this. Okay. Change real quick. Get out of the way in case anybody comes to the door. Right by right behind me. Oh, what was that? <laughs> If you go by any scientist, and there are other scientists in here, if you go by any of them, they'll automatically know you're not a scientist. They'll look at you for like half a second and then, zent, call the police on you. Yeah, 
code is just right here. I think if I whack it in front of that guy, he's going to know something's up. So let him move. Damn it. Are you serious? Scientist uniform and go. Whew. That could have gone really badly. Mm. Spider. Serum. Get out your way. Ah, thought I was about to get caught right there. Don't mind me, I'm just a lonely scientist. I'm thinking. I'm not sure if they'll bust you if you're crawling, but I'd rather not risk it. I don't remember where the cigar spray is. I think I do, but I don't know for sure. Like, I don't 100% know exactly where it is. Where, where was that? Okay, B1 East. Need to go to B one West. It should be on the other side, and then that'll be the last carotid in this area. I'm going up here to get the desert camel, by the way. Okay. I think the fly camera was in it's in the bathroom. Okay, I thought there was a scientist in here. Be careful when you open the doors, by the way. Because if you run at it, you'll bust it in if there's anybody on either side of it. Like right on the other side of it, you'll knock him over and you'll get busted. So yeah, just be careful. I think it's right there too. There it is. Uniform fly. Which I don't remember exactly what it does. I believe that it just stinks. And it has terrible camouflage. But if you sneak up behind somebody, grab them and seek you see, you will immediately knock them out. Because it stinks so bad. <laughs> And useful in any of those. Okay. It's probably a bad idea to try and go peeking over here. Actually, I don't think there's any guards right there anyway. So, just keep moving. Ugh. on moving. Huh. 
I don't think I've ever checked on this side. Maybe jump down there with scientist uniform you automatically get caught. I'm not sure though. Cause I think I like there's a vent there that you can use as an alternate exit. Well, alternate from where I came in anyway. And you can use that as an alternate egg enter entrance and exit if you so desire. And if you do that, you'll have to make sure nobody sees you because if you put the scientist uniform on right there. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about right now. <coughs> but if you put the scientist uniform on there for people who do know what I'm talking about, then I think you'll get caught because I remember I did it once. Kind of stupid. Lockers. <laughs> Whoa. Cigar gas, right? Yeah, I know. I told you to be careful when you open doors and then. Look at what I do. Cigar gas spray you can use, by the way. While you have the scientist uniform. Oh man, can you tell I don't want to get caught? <laughs> guys is the battery on them also I don't remember though yeah battery see how many batteries I got six batteries which means that's gonna last for a long time go food and eat some eat some instant noodles because I got so many of them Uh, Calumates rations and instant noodles don't ever go bad. Also, and if you capture anything alive, I'm not sure if I said this already, but if you capture anything alive, it won't go bad either. He's G posing. Look at that. We 
If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. So I take him? Put that thing away. You'll spoil my drink. Alcoholic. No, oh, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Yeah, that's me. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. <laughs> I'm sorry. I walk in here without killing everything that moves and you me. call me impolite. And you call yourself an agent. Very well, then. Technically, everybody else calls me an agent. I don't I call myself an agent. Alexander Leonovich Grani. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. Well, you just did. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. I guess we can't accuse you of being Since modest. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. <sighs> It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. I think your, bit, your ego is bigger than mine. Who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. <laughs> You're crocked, aren't you? This was being drunk. I'm nearly drowning in my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him. Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Yeah. Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. That sucks my research for you. has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Like your Rex. Or yes. kind of. A walking tank. A robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? I know it's well, BS. This technology will be the missing link oh, between oh, infantry and oh. artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. I think that thing in, in the background and this magnificent metal gear will is from Zone of the Enders. Step forward in weapons development. That's what it looks like, anyway. Gear. <laughs> but I won't leave you so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation. Okay, now that looks like Metal Gear Rex. Yes. Sokolov's pathetic. And this is about 40 years before the thing even begins construction. World. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. The tank does not need <clears throat> a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fool's in charge. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The loss of his legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? <sighs> the oh, another life legacy. story. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Rogin's father was in charge of the philosophers' money laundering activities. 
In the confusion of the war, somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. Well, talk the generous of them. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Uh. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohal project. Tomorrow oh. they will be conducting the final test. While Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Grozny Grad. Playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov. Yes. And the Shagahot is there too. Of course. Hey, you're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohan. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. All right. You pass through oh. the warehouse on your way here. I was getting ready. Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh. This key will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Got it. Alright. Ah, oh, I thought it was time to go. Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. And how you feel, man? I love this land. My country ain't in the greatest of states right now. Imagine living anywhere else. But I still love it. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. <laughs> I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! Night passed quickly, didn't it? Cause like when we got to the area where we saw the blah, 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 the area where we saw the boss, the fear in the end, all in one place. You know, right after I picked up the sniper rifle. Uh, yeah, that area. Um, it was like sunset, wasn't it? Naked. Uh. 
scientist. Okay, let's just wait for him to pass. Do I have anything like a motion detector or something? I do not. Dang it. I thought I had at least one of them. Crap. Nothing. <sighs> Dang it. Come on, give me a break, man. I didn't even know the guy was right there until after I turned the camera. in evasion they will still bust you so be aware of that I think we're good now I'm almost home free too I almost got in and out without getting caught. <sighs> oh, well, whatever. Nothing from you? Okay, I don't want to shake him too many times. Shake him too much, though. Actually, wake up. That's a gas ray. Hate to end up having to die on the doorstep. Their doorstep, at least. Flip. I had to get out of my system. 